What is going on guys? Welcome back to an episode. I got me a box here from GameVice. This is the Flex. Well, if you have been keeping up with mobile gaming, cloud gaming, on your phone, that kind of stuff, well, this one right here, this is what you're gonna be looking for as well. So, I've been doing a lot of uh, review on the, uh, well, right here, the Backbone. This is the PlayStation Edition. And also, at the same time, I was doing the Razer Kishi uh, V1 and V2. I've been looking at that, doing reviews on that. Really liked the whole concept and everything. And then uh, Game Vice actually contacted me and said, hey, you should check out our product. This is the Flex. All I did was just tell them, send it to me. I'll take a look at it. There are no commitment on this one. All the opinions on this is mine and mine alone. They have not seen this video before you guys have. Okay, so um, I just wanted to let you know that they did not pay me for this review at all. So today, we're gonna unbox this and we're gonna give it a try. Just like all the other products that I have, which is like the Backbone, the Razer Kishi, none of them have paid me for those review at all. All right, let's go ahead and do it. The first thing that they actually uh, told me in the email was that, did you know that we're the one that designed the Razer Kishi? And I go, what? They're like, we designed it. So they actually released the same design as well called the Flex. And that's what this is. Interesting stuff, right? Things that you don't know behind the scene of making a product at Razer. Voila. You know, this really looks like the Razer Kishi V1. It does. There's a quick start QR code right there. And yeah, guys, looks just like it. There's a blue button, but that's about it. What is going on here? What is in this box? Oh my gosh. What is this? Game Vice case adapter? Huh? Okay. Uh, I am a little impressed here. Instruction booklet. Okay, I'm gonna get to that in a bit. Let's, let's bust this thing out real quick. This is, uh, yeah. The same one, I mean, look at this, the, the way you unfold this. The material is actually the same as the Razer Kishi V1. It just, there's no difference here. Now, what they've done is they did not put the inserts in here. And obviously that's the reason why you see all of this right here. But yeah, no inserts at all yet. Okay. Um, The button feels just like it. Yeah, it feels good. I actually love the joystick on the Razer Kishi V1 because of how much you can move with the joystick. There's a lot more movement here versus something like, let's say the backbone. So you see this right here? There's, there's really less movement on the joystick here. It has very little room for you to move. Almost like the... Um, Nintendo Switch joystick. Very little movement. What that means is that, let's say if I'm playing Call of Duty Mobile, right? Um, it is easier to aim with something like this because I have more room to move. And so, you know, if you're playing uh, FPS games on the PC, and if you have too high of a DPI on your mouse, you're gonna miss a lot of shots because your hands, every little inch that you move, it's gonna move that cursor way too fast. And so you're not gonna be able to aim accurately. So basically, back to this uh, control right here, the more room you have to move, uh, to me, the lower the DPI is. And so I think I can aim a little bit better with something like this, rather than, you know, like the Nintendo Switch controller or even the Backbone controller with very little room to move here. That's my take on the Razer Kishi V1 and it seemed like this is the exact same thing right here. Exact same thing. Only difference is that, you know, Game Vice put their 
logo back here versus the, the Razer logo. I have no idea what all of these means, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's just pick one, okay? So it says here, uh, phone adapter large right here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Because I have a um, iPhone 14 Pro Max, I'm gonna go, go ahead and t take a look at this one first. So it, this one comes with both left and right, okay? All right, so I'm pretty sure that this goes here, okay? Pretty self-explanatory since uh, the, uh, it has holes here versus the one on the left doesn't have the holes. It's in there. And so my phone without a case. With this design right here, plenty of room for your camera bump. You know, it doesn't matter how big Apple keeps uh, introducing camera bumps. By the way, if you guys uh, have not seen the uh, Razer Kishi V1 review, um, I just want to point out a few things. There is a headphone jack right here. There's a port right here that um, GameVice is basically saying this is a charging only port. So it's not going to give you any data. All right. So don't think that that's going to happen right there. Okay. Very interesting. I just read this little card and I think I know how to work this without reading the instruction manual. So one thing about this, guys, when I start doing this, it's... Uh, what you see on the video is literally my first time seeing it and playing around with the products. This little card right here looks like it's the measurement for your case. So let's say for instance, okay, if you have a case like this, which I just put this case on, and this case is pretty thick, okay? And here's the instruction back here is saying, hey, measure your, your case this way. So this one almost fit. This small, small, small. Then, oh, oh, this one fits perfectly. This one is a bit loose. It's a bit loose. Okay, so it looks like my case is going to be L21 and R one zero a so one meaning that that's the first one it's color coded so it's red right there and then it'll be number three the third box which is this box right here r one zero a okay now i'm hoping that these are going to be labeled yes it is so each one of these are going to be labeled so r one zero a from this side okay so r one zero a that's it right there okay now that i have to attach that Will it work? Oh my gosh. Really? Look, this thing lights up. That means it works. Wow, that's it. Now I can use this with the case. Okay, I, I, I don't believe it. So I'm gonna have to play a game. You guys realize this is important, right? For some of you that have been following the channel, um, know that we struggle every single time with a product like this and not able to use our case. I even brought out my thinnest case that I can possibly find just to test this thing out, but I didn't need that. This on here is my thickest case that I have. It even has a little kickstand on this case. That's how thick it is. So for some of you that are playing Genshin Impact, um, you're gonna have to go into the setting and set controller instead of touch screen. Just an FYI. Oh yeah, it's working. Yes, it's working. Oh wow. It is working. I need a moment to appreciate this. So let me just do a recap right here, okay? I've reviewed um, probably four to five different game controller that attach to the phones, and none of them so far have been able to fit a case. When, when they do, quote unquote, fit, usually the connection isn't long enough to connect to the phone. And so even if the, it fit with the case, it, it never worked. And this is the first controller that I have ever gotten that actually worked with a case. 
perfectly. Meaning that a thick case like this, it's still connected to it. This is incredible. Um, this little cart right here, you're gonna need to keep it around in case you change up your case, but it's perfect. This is perfect. You just measure your case with, with this and it, it tells you exactly which number to use. This is the best gaming case out there right now. I'm gonna say it right now. This is the best gaming case. Just stop this video and just go buy it. This is it right here. So I'm gonna say it right now, this is the best gaming controller that you can get out there on the market right now. Um, it, I totally love the Razer Kishi V1 because it can collapse, fold, and this thing does exactly that. The controller is amazing because there are a lot of movement that you can do with this. Lots of movement. I mean, every little, yeah, it, you, you can definitely aim with this a lot better than, you know, the smaller joystick. So definitely the control is good. The button feels exactly like the Razer Kishi V1, which I totally love. Um, there is an app on here, it looks like, that you can install. I'm not even gonna play with that, uh, but I, already the controller is awesome. So, and obviously the last thing, which is the most important thing in my mind is that it fit this super thick case. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you when it's thick, it's thick. Look at this, this thing is, my case is super thick, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna lie, this thing right here, look, it is super thick. It has a kickstand, guys, all right? And it works, it works on a controller like this. And look, once I install the little adapter in there, I don't have to worry about it anymore. It actually, now, it's not gonna fall out. Guys, <laughs> just throw this in my bag now. That's it. Well guys, that's it for me right there. This is possibly the best gaming controller out there right now. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say that right now. But obviously, I will make any updates on this video um, when I get more time with it. But so far, the initial impression with everything that they've done to this gaming controller, keeping it the same as the Razer Kishi V1 is a great idea. I just wanna tell them that. Who, uh, whoever over there at GameVice, uh, that actually said, hey, you know what? We should release this controller. Props to them because um, I, look at this. This is, this is, this is bigger than, than this, all right? And I feel like if it's mobile, it needs to be small like this. It needs to be collapsible. And I love this design where the stringy design because you can fit bigger phones on it without it feeling like it's gonna crush your lens on, on, on the back. Okay. Anyway, that's it for me right there. I'm out of here. Have a good one. Bye-bye.